Unraveling the Roots, Mexico and its African Connections. Welcome back to our series exploring the cultural ties between African countries and the Americas. In today's episode, we'll discover the fascinating connections between Mexico and Africa. We'll be highlighting the rich cultural, musical, culinary, artistic, architectural, religious, dance, and linguistic influences that have shaped Mexico over time. Join us as we dive into the history and uncover Mexico's African roots. Most people are aware of the Spanish and indigenous influences in Mexican culture, but few realize that there were possible pre-Columbian connections between Africa and Mexico. Similarities in ancient Mexican and African art, architecture, and technology further support the theory of an early African presence in ancient Mexico. Mexico's music is a unique blend of indigenous, European, and African influences. African rhythms and melodies can be heard in various Mexican musical genres, including Sun Jarocho and Sun Huasteco. The African-derived marimba instrument is also popular in some regions of Mexico. Musicians playing Sun Jarocho today may not even know about its African roots. Mexican cuisine is a delicious mix of indigenous and Spanish flavors, but it also has African roots. Mexican dishes like mole, and chilet, feature African ingredients like cocoa, chilies, and spices. The use of plantains and yams in Mexican cooking also reflects African culinary traditions. Mexico's art scene is diverse and rich, with influences from various cultures, including African. Ancient Mexican art shows striking similarities to African sculptures and pottery. Mexican textiles also feature designs and motifs similar to those found in West African textiles. Mexico's architectural style is influenced by various cultures, including African. Adobe, a building material introduced by the Spanish, can be traced back to African mud brick construction, and the pyramidal shape of some Mexican buildings resembles pyramids found in ancient Egypt. Mexico's religious practices are a blend of indigenous, Spanish, and African influences. Some Afro-Mexican communities practice syncretic religions that combine Catholicism with African spiritual traditions. In some regions of Mexico, there are festivals and ceremonies that feature African-derived music and dance. Mexico has a rich dance tradition, with some styles featuring African influences. The African-derived Jarabe Tapatia dance is popular in some regions of Mexico, as is the Sun Jarocho dance, which features African rhythms and steps. Spanish is the official language of Mexico, but there are various indigenous languages spoken throughout the country. Some of these languages have African linguistic influences, such as the Huab language spoken in the state of Oaxaca, which features Kikongo loanwords. Afro-Mexican communities have a rich cultural heritage that reflects their African roots. These communities, found primarily along Mexico's Pacific and Gulf coasts, have preserved African traditions through music, dance, religion, and food. Despite facing discrimination and erasure, Afro-Mexicans continue to celebrate and honor their African heritage. One book that has sparked much debate in this field is They Came Before Columbus by Ivan Van Sertima. In it, he presents evidence of similarities between ancient Mexican cultures and African ones, particularly the Egyptians. Let's take a closer look at some of these similarities. One of the most famous examples is the Olmec heads, and similar sculptures found in many regions of North, Central, and South America. Some researchers have suggested that the facial features and headgear of the Olmec heads resemble those of Africans, particularly the ancient Egyptians. While this theory is still controversial and not universally accepted, 
it does raise interesting questions about the possibility of contact and influence between these cultures. Another interesting point of similarity is the use of pyramids in both African and Mesoamerican cultures. Both the Egyptians and the Aztecs built pyramids as religious and ceremonial structures, although the construction techniques and purposes differed in many ways. Additionally, both African and Mesoamerican cultures practiced mummification and had elaborate funerary traditions. This suggests that both cultures placed a high value on the afterlife and the preservation of the physical body. While the idea of contact between ancient Africans and Mesoamericans is still a matter of debate, these similarities raise questions about the interconnectedness of cultures throughout history. By exploring these connections, we can better understand the shared human experiences that have shaped our world. In conclusion, Mexico's culture is a fascinating blend of indigenous, European, and African influences. While the African roots of Mexican culture are not as widely known as the Spanish and indigenous influences, they are a significant part of the country's cultural tapestry. We hope this episode has shed light on the African connections in Mexico and inspired you to explore these fascinating cultural ties further. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Unraveling the Roots.